All right, go. Hey guys, this is Steps from Projects Playground. I'm sitting here with Neil Kaplan, the voice of more things than I could probably name in the time this video <laughs> takes, but more well known for Optimus Prime and StarCraft II. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, because you said that and you made it sound like Optimus Prime was in StarCraft II, so I don't want to get anybody's <laughs> hopes up out there. That would make a great game. Yeah, it, it probably would, and I'll tell you, Chris Metzen would love it. Yes. Chris Metzen, the guy who created all the worlds in <laughs> StarCraft and WarCraft, um, also has written several Transformer comics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, so we, trust me, it's, I, I would almost guarantee you that he <laughs> would be thrilled with that idea. Um, uh, but no, I'm known for having played uh, Optimus Prime in Transformers Robots in Disguise. It was just one season, but we did get the best title. There you go. Um, <laughs> and of course, uh, currently, I'm, I'm Tychus Finley. I was in StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, but now currently you can hear um, Tychus living on in the Nexus in uh, Heroes of the Storm. So. Um, besides Optimus, what's your favorite role that you got to do, just had the most fun with? Well, you're assuming that I, Optimus was one of my favorites. I would assume. He's one you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a favorite for the most part outside the booth. Mm -hmm. You know, in, uh, in, in the booth, it was, a, it, was, it, was a good, it was a good job. But, um, you know, heroes a lot of times can be kind of one notey. You know, yeah. uh, Superman a lot of times, Optimus Prime is just save the world, be heroic. And that is certainly a noble thing, and, I, and, I, and that's why I say outside of the booth, when you see the results of, of playing a character like that, when, you know, simply saying to a kid, you know, transform and roll out, it makes them happy. It's like, that's almost like a superpower, yeah. you know, and it's pretty cool. And especially since then, with so many other series and the movies, you know, certainly the impact of playing the role has been greater on me uh, in the years since, in the you know tw twelve years or so since it since it aired. Um, I, I've come to appreciate the responsibility that I was given, and I, I, I take it very seriously because the character means a lot um, to millions of people around the world, and I share the role with three actors that I respect. You know, and that's that's pretty cool. You know. Um, in a, in a, in a, on a planet with almost 8 billion people, there's still only four of us yeah. that have voiced the role in the English language on TV, and that's a pretty small percentage. Yes. <laughs> so, so that meant a lot. But I, I loved Tychus um, recording it the first time because of the nature of who he was, because of his moral code. He's, an, he's a classic anti-hero. You know, in, in, in that he just wants to drink and meet a nice girl um, and just relax and have a good time and hang out at the bar and smoke, a, smoke a, 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 an amazing cigar and, and, and drink bourbon or scotch, basically whiskey. If it's whiskey, he'll drink it. Um, but when, some, when a settler bursts in through the door in a full bar and says, the Zerg are destroying... Uh, the settlement, please help, and everybody else, all the good people, stay rooted in their seats, petrified. He's the one that slams down his drink, smashes out the cigar, heaves out a side, and all right, let's do what's got to be done. And he grabs his gal's rifle and he heads out. You know, it's like it's like Han Solo. Han Solo could have saved his own neck dozens of times, but he never did because he saw the higher morality, he saw the higher goal, he saw the, the greater need, and he fulfilled it. And that, to me, is a such an incredibly interesting character. And as I got to know him a little bit, you know, I could alter some of the lines and make them a bit more tykesy as it was. And then, of course, when we came back and did Heroes of the Storm, a lot of times, you know, I would read the I would see the line, and I would alter it before even doing the first take. You know, and give them what I thought, how I thought Tychus yeah, would say it. Yeah, and really, and, and the fact that they, res that the that the directors and the writers respected that and included me as part of the team in that respect, on an artistic level, that's that's. Yeah, it's great that they let you. Kind mm -hmm. of and it's and it's very gratifying. It's very gratifying. You know, I love 
I love playing my villains, you know, because you get out all that, you know, that angsty stuff, and you get to... Villains, to me, are a lot more fun to play. I loved playing Optimus Prime, but if, but if in the next Transformer movie, the producers came up to me and said, we know we want you in the movie. Do you want to play Megatron or Optimus Prime? I have to think about it, because Megatron would get a lot of consideration from me. You know, um, I, just did, uh, I just did Venom the other day for Marvel um, in, a, in an upcoming game. Um, I got the chance to work very heavily on an upcoming Lord of the Rings game, Lord of the Rings game from uh, Warner Brothers Entertainment, and really got to sink my teeth into this role. And it was a lot of fun. Basically, what it comes down to as an actor is my most fun role is the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's always good. My most enjoyable day of work will be the next one. You know, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a free agent and I, I need to keep finding something to keep me busy, pay my bills, fulfill my artistic Jones, as it were. So, um, definitely, definitely um, Tychus and, and, and Prime are, 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 are my two favorites. You know, and if I accidentally say Optimus Finley, you'll understand. <laughs> You talked a little bit about it a second ago, but being a part of so many kids' early life with the Transformers and Power Rangers and even StarCraft. Digimon. Digimon. Yes. So many. It's very, it's very interesting now getting, oh, okay. getting college kids and people out of college who say, you know, I really love Talkmon. You know, <laughs> he, was, he was one of my favorites. And it's like, you're so big and grown up and old. What does that make me? You know, so, uh, and that means a lot. And it's funny because now that Power Rangers is on Netflix and people can dial up any season, any episode, any time, it's getting this rebirth. You know, whereas people knew about it before and certainly the older fans had watched it, you know, and I'd meet them uh, every couple of years at Power Morphicon in, in California. So that's always, that's always fun. But now we're getting new fans again. And now we're, now we're getting to these new young people. And it's really, you know, I, I that was the early, those were the early days of my career. So I, I think back on them fondly. Um, I had a lot of fun working with Scott Page Pagener and Dave Walsh and, and Anna Britt, Bakbakian, I hope I said that right. But um, I, I, you know, I, I think about those days with such fondness. Um, and they trained me really well for the rest of my career, and I will always be appreciative for that. You know? And of course, Hawkmon should at a certain point be listed among my favorite characters, because he was such a jerk. He was, he was so pretty and so into his own hawkman you know? And that was just, that was just a blast, you know? Channeling Terry Thomas and some of those classic British comedians from the 50s and the 60s. I really, you know, I, I always kind of thought as, of, of Hawkman as maybe even being a, a character out of a lost episode of, of Monty Python. <laughs> you know, for sure. Well, I thank you for your time. Oh, it's thanks, brother. To sit and talk My pleasure. To you. My pleasure. And hope you have fun here in Tulsa, and then thanks. On your travels out. And if you follow, if let's try that again. Yeah, usually, folks, I do speak with a script in front of me. Off the top of my head, not so good. Uh, if you folks are on Facebook, join the fan page. Tell me that you uh, saw me on the interview, and uh, I have a little something special for you. Have a good day, guys.